Hey guys, this is Above Mel, and I'm here today with College Romance, which looks amazing. <laughs> Cannot wait. So the summary of this is: meet and date five girl, uh, five different college girls. As you learn about who they are, multiple endings for each girl means there is a lot of stories to be explored. College Romance is a visual novel that follows you and five young ladies as you go through your last year of college. What works for one girl may not work so well for the another, so it's pretty much a sim date in college. So unlike my last video, there's dating in here. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, there's many. That's, okay, my name, my name is Mel, which could totally be a guy's name. Here it is, the start of my last year in college. And what do I have to show for it? Oh, I have my oh, I'll have my go degree soon enough, and I've had some good times. But what have I really accomplished, other than getting myself in deep ass debt? You know, all those loans. At least it's nice, quiet day to be walking around and thinking about my life dramatically. I really should walk to school like this more often. Helps me to relax and just to enjoy myself. Still. It would be nice to have someone to share with this with, other than my, my mom, who I still live with. Oh, hey Linda. I didn't expect to run into you here. Not gonna say anything. Oh god. Her, her proportions. Well, I normally ride the bus to school, but since it's such a pretty morning, I thought I'd take a walk. So unrealistic. Nobody does that. How about you? I walk to school all the time. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it's way myself. Yeah. It does seem like it's going to be a special day, doesn't it? Flutter, flutter, wink, wink. Oh, blushy, blushy. So, are you in a hurry, or do you want to get some coffee first? Linda, you bitch. We gotta get to school. But fine, we'll go get coffee. I've seen this place before, but I've never stepped on it. Stopped in. Stopped in? Stepped in? Stopped by? This doesn't look like the kind of place I'd expect Linda to hang out in because she's actually a giant slut and hangs out in bars. So, do you come here often? What the fuck? That is the lamest line ever. Come on, Mal. I know it's kind of old-fashioned, but the, the food and the coffee here aren't bad. Also, one of my friends from high school works here as a waitress, so I always get a great service. And a discount. Oh my god. Oh, and there she is. Becky, this is my friend Mel. And because Becky's like, I am still in the moon with these legs. Always nice to meet a friend of Linda's. Are y'all here for... Oh, she got the accent. Okay. Are y'all here for some food or just drop by? <laughs> I can't do the accent though. We just want to get some coffee and maybe a a Danish before heading into class. I know that's a thing, I just don't know anything. Danish. I don't go to coffee places often, okay? Y'all just take a seat then and I'll be right back with your coffee. She seems fast enough. Do you get a choice on the Danish or is it just whatever's on the menu? That's special. That depends. Are you going Dutch or are you paying? I think I could cover you on this one. No, don't do that. You'll be poor. Just remember you owe me next time. In that case, I think I'll go with the cherry and cream cheese one. You fucking bitch, you're spending more money. We can make that too. Wink, 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 wink. Some time goes by while we enjoy our coffee and our food. Becky is very attentive. Although I'm not sure she always catches what I'm saying. I have to go to the ladies room for a minute. I'll be right back. I'm bored of you. And I'll keep an eye on him for you. She's like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna accept learning the guy that you just left. <sighs> okay, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I start chatting with Becky about some of the things Linda and I had to discuss, discuss, discussing. Which is kind of rude. Honey, I'm not sure what you mean by uncertainly principal, but I know there's plenty of things I'm not certain about. Like my hair. I'm just kidding. Your hair's fine. Your legs however scare me Linda and I have been talking about a show that we have been watching where the uncertainty principle was used as a plot device whatever the fuck that is 
<laughs> it just means that according to some types of measurements you might take that you can't measure every property of an object. The fact that you are observing the object affects the object. So all that math I've done, where I have to fucking measure shit, is a lie. But it really only applies to, to the sub subatomic world. It's not like this salt shaker is going to be indifferent just because I'm looking at it. Are you sure about that? I could pick it up and the cup falls off spilling the salt on the table. Uh, yeah, you just changed the little principal thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make a mess. Fuck a bitch. Of course, Linda arrived back at the table just in time to see me spilling the salt, which is bad luck. I was just gonna mention it. You better throw a pinch over your shoulder. You don't want to have bad luck the rest of the day. Of course, I'm at a coffee shop with two hot women. Bad luck. Two disproportionate hot women. Who totally stand out in this nice background. Uh, don't get me started about luck. Right? I should know better by now. Anyway, we should get going. Are you ready? I don't care. I need to go to school. Bye, Becky. Oh my god, Becky. That was fun. We should do that more often. I don't know. I think I need enough to make up for the extra exercise. Oh, don't be... Start being a spoil sport now. Well, I don't mean to be one, but I should point out if we don't get to our classes and we're both gonna be like, that's why I don't go talk to Becky. Okay. I hope to see you when you're done for the day. Maybe we can study together. Wink, 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 wink. I have to go to the bookstore after classes, but I'll drop by after school. I'll drive you around and we can, you know, do something. Okay, I'll be looking for you. What's that skirt, dude? That's like. What? Why would it open in the front like that? Later that day. Evidently, the teachers don't care that it's just the first day back. I already got a ton of assignments and I still have to buy some of the books I need. I feel you on the spiritual level. Guess I better find a bookstore near here fast if I'm going to be back in time to meet Linda, which I don't really care for, but it's just like, whatever visual. Stop with the music. Wait, what's that music? No. This looks like a nice place. Oh, and here's one of the books I was looking for. Julie. And can I help you find something? Oh my god, her boobs. I can't. No. No. I'm trying really hard not to be mean to the people who made this game, but those boobs are terrifying. <laughs> They're like saggy old women's boobs, dirty pillows kind of boobs. Oh, you're reading Kier Kierkegaard? Are you a philosophy major? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm not a philosophy major, but this seemed like an interesting book to read that I told. It's certainly one of his most popular works, says the poor perversion boob lady. Have you ever read any other works by Kierkegaard? Um, yeah, TBH. I kind of figured you weren't that much into Kierkegaard. The book you picked up is a study guide for his book, not the book itself. Oops. See? For once again, I'm like, honesty is the best policy. I, oh, yep, I'm an honest person. So, is the book itself worth reading? I wouldn't be much of a philosophy major if I said no. By the way, my name is Jilly. I'm Mo. <laughs> if you're coming to this bookstore, you must be going to Alta University. Yeah, I'm an English and computer science double major. That whoa, computer science and English. That's kind of an odd combination. Double major. Mm -hmm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Don't be. It just means I can't make up my mind and was willing to take a couple more classes to avoid having to decide. Seriously, sounds like we might be able to make a philosophy major out of you then. No philosophy. I like philosophy, but I want to actually want to take a major in it. It's just like a better. I, a bunch of what ifs. I love what ifs. It scared me. I love what ifs, but sometimes it's just like, come on, trees falling. Whatever. My philosophy club has its first meeting of the year tomorrow afternoon. Would you like to meet me there? I'm going to be interesting, but I wouldn't go. Nah. Oh, okay. Oh, she looks so upset. She's like, okay, bitch. So, were you picking up any other books? I have a few more still. I don't know. 
oh, one of the other girls. Oh, she's like, bitch, please. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> she's mad at me. None of these girls seem very interesting yet, just by the way. I don't really want to talk to Glenda. Oh, there's Carla. Hi, Mel. Glad to see you made it back to school. I like her hair. Ooh, her character design is not too scary. Her boobs are fine because one of them's covered. It's okay, you guys. It's nice to see you too, Carla. Working at the cafeteria again? Yeah, it seems the like uniform gave it away. Carla is always such a fun girl to be with. Something like that. So are you still feeding the stray cats on campus? Sometimes. Why are you still a stray? Wink, 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 wink. Oh, um, wow. Well, I'm, I'm a bit hungry, but I was just going to go to the line and grab something, you know. That's not what I meant, wink, wink, wink. You know, we've known each other for almost four years now. And you've never asked me out. Oh, bam. She's like, direct. I'm beginning to think you don't like me or something. You mean you'd want to go out with me if I ask? There's only one way for you to find out. You know, I like how very forward and direct she is, unlike these other girls. And also, I love her hair, so <laughs> this is what I base it on. And she's on point eyebrows. Ooh, yeah. See, that wasn't hard, was it? She's like, I had to lead you into it, you fucking asshole. You know, you didn't have to wait for me to ask. No, but it was more fun that way. Yeah, I hate when girls say that. Like, yeah, I know, but I want the guy to ask me. I'm like, no, just ask yourself, damn it. I have to go back to work. Give me a call tonight and we can set up a time and a place. Will do. I am like double time in here. I don't know. Hey, Mel. Oh, God, my voice. Hey, Linda. I thought maybe I'd miss you. Nope. You're not getting off that easy. As we kept walking, we soon found ourselves back in our own street. That's a beautiful sunset, don't you think? This isn't even like an RVG. It's just like ugh, a long story. I was hoping for, like, an actual sim dating thing, you know. Yeah, at times like this, I wish I had gotten to photography instead of English. Trying to describe a sunset like that is just hard with words. It is, but it's awesome, too. I thought you'd always told me the best way to describe something is to give your reader just enough of a frame so they could hang their own picture. Bam, I'm like deep, man. That sounds like something I'd say, all right. Anyway, you were telling me that your world history class was a little tougher than you thought it would be. Oh, it's World History 2, and I thought that man would just pick up where World History 1 left off. Turns out the 2 in this case means that the professor is looking over the same period of time, but less familiar cultures. That's called World History, man. You gotta expect this, you fucking Linda. Her boobs are unproportionate as well, but it's just not as noticeable. Probably because of Thai, that's really awkward. Anyways, <clears throat> I barely read the course catalog at all. I went to my counselor last spring, and... She suggested that I get more history courses if I want to get into a good law school. Then she handed me a shade of courses to choose from. Sounds like some major studying all the time. At least you like history. I thought you did too. Some of it. Particular things I think I can adapt into a story. Same. We're getting close to my place. I thought she was going to say, we're getting so close. I was like, um, do you want to come in for a while? Oh, jeez. It depends where your parents are. I don't like Linda, so bye. Okay, well, good luck with your studies. She looks so upset at me. <laughs> Have a good evening, Linda. She just backs away. Fuck you. You too. <laughs> what a day. Classes are going to be hectic, and it seems like I was pretty busy out of the class list. Whoa. Why is this music so loud? Carla was being pretty sweet today. I met her my first day at Alta, and she was so nice. And every time I say Alta, I think of the college I plan on going to called Delta. So I'm like, oh, what? what? The music is so intense right now. I'm just gonna... Yeah. I don't really have my headphones in right now because mm, they're kind of broken. But these are my best speaker headphones. Confusing. I met her on my first day at Alta, and she was so nice in helping me figure out my way around campus. Though I paid her for it when it came to feeding time on a, for the campus cats. And I had to help her get the food out. And she had to basically ask me out before I even thought of her as a possible date. Man, I've got to spend less time with my head in books. Nerd. I also got to learn about a new cafe today and met Becky. She seems like a real spitfire. 
I wonder if she's like that when she is not work. I guess it's better to get to studying than and, you know, go to bed if you want to get behind on my first day. I glance over at the clock like, oh, it's like nine. <sighs> Friday was finally here and I was waiting for Carla to show up. Oh, she looks so cute. And her hair is something from her boob. Good job. <laughs> hey, Carla, over here. Why isn't her hair in a little space like that pink space right there? Whatever. Hey, Mel, what do you think of this dress? Looks nice. Ready to see the movie? Why can't I decide what to say? What if I want to say it'll look ugly? It just looks nice, though. If it's with you, sure. We entered the theater and picked up some snacks and drinks, and then we found our seats. The movie was a romantic comedy, which I figured would be was a good compromise. Carla started out by holding my hand, but then moved to snuggling up against me, putting my arm and pulling my arm into her. I into her? Into what? What? I really hope that was a typo. Okay, I was like thinking like he put his arm around her and stuff, but no, into, into her. This got me a little lightheaded. Uh, what? And I'm not sure if I was paying attention when she moved to get a little closer and knocked my drink into my lap. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mal. Here, let me clean it up. Oh, I'm not going to mean her. Is she trying? I've got plenty of experience cleaning up in a cafeteria. Mi amor. I felt Carla rub my legs with some napkins and I felt her hands moving. <laughs> No, stop. Carla. Shh, honey, if I let this soak in, you're going to be damp all night. I thought she just meant my underwear. And so I felt her fingers spreading my underpants open and her you're stroking me. <laughs> Carla, if you keep doing that, you're going to have more than spilled drink clean up. Is that so? So? Well, we'll just have to see how that goes and won't we, Mia more. This is the first day, Carla. Calm down. I don't know why I agree to this. I wasn't sure if I was more excited about what I was feeling or by what Carla just said, but I was in no position to complain at this point. <laughs> and she continued to wrap her fingers around me. Oh no. Um, I'm not reading this out loud because I can't because I'll just keep laughing. See, I did like that she was very direct and I feel like this guy is very closed off. So, I mean, I, I thought it was a good good match, but this is the first date, Carla. Oh. I'm making you mine right now, but I want you to make me yours soon. I'm on to, why does she keep saying that French words? I wasn't sure what to answer then. I got the frame, but the strange urge that told me I couldn't answer right then. Um... Yeah, a very public setting. Oh my god. <laughs> so that was quite a movie, wasn't it? Oh, there's a movie on? I was a little distracted. I can't imagine what could have happened. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, say, it's getting late. Do you feel like letting me walk you home? Um, no, not tonight. Besides, it's not like it's that far from here, and I'm used to walking home by myself. Did, did I do something wrong? No, really, I love being with you tonight, and I hope to see you again real soon, but my home situation, well, it would be better if you didn't come over tonight, okay? Oh, no, no, I'm worried about Carla. Okay. I pulled her clothes for one more kiss, and it seemed that she was just as warm and energetic as before, which made me feel better that it wasn't really a problem with me. I'll see you soon, mi amor. Amore? I don't know. Fuck off, I don't know French. You bet. I walked home considering what this evening meant. I'm kind of getting attached to Carla, by the way. Even if she did that in a public place. Wait. Mm. Here it was, Sunday, and tomorrow will be the start of another week. It was a beautiful fall night, as only central Texas seemed to have. A little bit of fog in the air, but it was still quite warm and a nice walk, thinking. I felt like things had been building up inside of me for some time, and that maybe now it was just time to make a decision. As I thought about it, I decided I should get serious about Linda. Carla. I like Carla. She's cool. She's cool. I felt much better about having taken time. Da, 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 da. Yep. Monday afternoon and classes had been really working me over. 
I decided to drop on the in on on Carla and say hi. Hey, Carla. Hey, Mel. Sorry I didn't see you, but I was only doing my cat, my daily cat feeding. She likes cats too. See, she's perfect for me. <laughs> Don't you worry that someday one of those security guards on campus is going to get suspicious about why so many stray cats are hanging around? I can't help myself. I know that it sounds strange, but I've had, I've, I've had kind of a hard life, and being able to help the cats make me feel better about myself. Hearing Carla say that, I realized I don't know much about her history. Only about how kind she is and how gentle she is with my dick. <laughs> Would you like to sit down and talk about it? Depends on where you want to go and talk. Well, we, we could talk here, or we could go to them on another date if you're up to it. The date sounds like fun. When? Depends on if you want, want what you want to do. We just go and grab a bite and check out the park. We go tonight for more like another movie. Tonight sounds great. Besides, you still owe me from last time. Wink, 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 wink. Okay, but in that case, you need to let me walk you home this time. Um, I I don't know. Carla, if we're going to have any kind of relationship, you need to trust me. If there's a reason I can't walk you home, then at least you should tell me. You're right. It's just that it's a bit of a secret. Can you promise not to tell anyone else? <gasps> Big moments are coming, you guys. Sure, but should we step outside first and make sure no one hears? No, if I whisper, it should be okay. The truth is, I live by myself. I kind of ran away from home a few years ago, and I lived around campus until I got a job and could form my own apartment. Around campus? I mean that I would hang out in the library, sneak into the classroom, or grab snacks someone had left in the lunch table, and then make my way into those dorms to get a shower. The stray cat situation started to make a lot of sense to me. I won't let anyone know about any of this. Why didn't she want me to walk her home, though? She just lives in an apartment. I'd be like, okay, you're a poor student, just like everyone else, whatever. What? I thought, like, her home life was, like, abusive or something. I was like, no, Carla. But okay. Carla's face lit up, and I realized it was the first time she'd been able to tell anyone about this in years. In that case, I got a fork, I get a fork here in about one hour. Just meet me outside. She's like, always wearing my dress. The next hour flew by, and before I knew it, Carla was coming toward me. Hi there, I just had to check out and get changed out of that uniform. Hi there yourself. Carla took my hand and we headed off to her place. As we approached the, her place, I noticed that it was a street full of uh, duplexes and quads. It looked fairly kept up. And I decided that the rent for her apartment was probably taking a good chunk of her paycheck. We went inside and Carla headed straight to her kitchen. Why were you afraid to be coming to this sweet ass apartment? I thought it was going to be crappy. Come on. Let me throw something in the oven, and then we can talk, or watch a movie while we wait for it. Yeah. Carla worked, took a little time to work on dinner while looked at her place. It was simple, but she kept it immaculate. There was a living dining room, the kitchen, and through one door must be the bathroom, while on the other door must be her bedroom. Carla noticed where I was looking. Wink, wink, wink. Dinner first, Mel. Sorry, hey. Why did I name her Mel? My person, I know it's a guy, but like, I don't know. It's shook or whatever. Okay, that was definitely the door to her bedroom. Okay, dinner's cooking. So do you want anything particular you want to do while we wait? Wink, wink, wink. If it's not too painful, I'd like to know why you ran away from home and why you here. Well, I guess there's no good way to put it. My dad had a real problem with alcohol. He loved my mom and all of us kids, but... When he was drunk, and I seemed to be often as I got older, he'd get violent sometimes, and other times he'd get too affectionate. Oh no! I once said she, I understood what she was telling me. See, that's what I was suspecting. So then I thought, bad home life. So why sound also then? It's far enough away from Brownsville that I knew my dad wouldn't come looking for me, and it's just about as far as I could afford to go on the bus and still a few dollars for food. Even at that, I hadn't really thought about what it would cost me after the first couple of days. Fortunately, I found Alta University, and then I had a shelter and even food from time to time. I hung around campus for a couple of weeks, and I noticed the bulletin board had posted for a position in the cafeteria. The manager at the time had been through some similar problems when she was younger and took pity at me. She helped me fill out the paperwork so that I could get a job, and then held off during it, 
hold off turning it in until I had time to get a place to live with an actual address. In fact, I met you only about three weeks after I started. We'd open early as the kids in the dorms came. <clears throat> we open early as the kids in the dorms can move in up to a month before school starts. I still remember that day. I was so lost and you were the only person willing to give me the time of the day. But you'd only been on the job for three weeks. How do you know where everything was? From paying attention to what was going on during my time living there. It's <laughs> so snarky. I see. You know, this is a surprisingly good storyline. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I'm good. I just choked on water. <coughs> um, anyways, like I was saying, surprisingly good storyline considering the art sometimes. But, I mean, I shouldn't judge. A book price cover, I know. <coughs> it's not really bad art either. It's just like, a little funky sometimes. I like Carla's art though. Look at her. She's so beautiful. There's a bit of an awkward silence then, but that was not but that was broken by the sound of the timer on the oven. I'd better get that. Looks like I timed it just right. Carla brought dinner over and we both ate qu quietly, with just the occasional word to discuss the weather and such. Once we were both done I helped Carla clean the dishes and put them in a the sink to dry. After I put the last plate down, Carla took my hand. Okay, mi amore. It's time for me to show you the rest of the apartment. Wink, 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 wink. Also, I'm so sorry if I'm fucking with French. I don't care. Now, I believe it's time for us to take things to the next level on the second day. With that, she slipped out her dress and came toward me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let me see the nipple. I'm like, there's a little cut off her dirt. <clears throat> Carla. Um, now might be a good time to tell you that I'm gay. She placed her finger on my lips. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do just fine. A few hours later. <laughs> it was quite late when I got home, and my folks reminded me that I had a cell phone that I could use to call home. My parents, Asia, you have a cell phone. Use it. Pointing out on a cell phone that had been my parents, which hadn't been anywhere near me for quite some time, seemed like a bad tactical move. So I simply said I'd gotten so involved in one of my books that I lost track of my time. Fortunately, I had actually done that enough times when I was younger that my folks were able to believe me. Being, able, being with Carla had been a bit awkward at first, which made me wonder if this was her first time too. Oh. Uh, but after a bit, we seemed to more in tune with each other. And then things were, well, almost magical. Oh, you're, you're a little virgin. Can't talk. We laid together for a bit afterwards, and I have to admit that feeling her body laid next to me was such a warm, loving feeling. But then she pointed out that she had work tomorrow, and I knew how to get home. I guess things won't be the same from here on out. About a week later. Things with Carla have been so strange for the last week. Ever since that night I went home for her, it seems like she's been avoiding me. <gasps> oh no. Hey Carla. Oh, hey, um, nice to see you. The drama. Have you got some time to talk? Maybe some other time. I'm kind of busy right now. Okay, this is getting a bit tiresome. What am I going to do? You're going to tell my bitch, hey, girl, we need to talk. We need to talk. Oh. <laughs> See, I would choose the second one just because, like, my self-confidence level was, like, negative 100%. But this gets... Oh, okay, I thought I accidentally picked the wrong one. I was like, no! I guess I'm going to have to miss a class or two, but I'm going to stay right here. She has to come back sometime. I'll get in line, get a snack, eat, and then sit and wait. Carla, I really think we should need to talk. Aren't you missing your class? Yes, but that's not the point. Why have you been avoiding me? I haven't been avoiding you. I've just been busy. Bullshit. I'm not sure what came over me, but I reached out, took her wrist, and pulled her closer. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Dude. And then I saw the look in her eyes, and I let go. Oh, God, I get it. You feel gu guilty because it was just like with her dad. No, you're nothing like him. I love you, and you love me, but... But you still feel like we did something wrong. And every time you see me now, it reminds you of that. 
I feel that way, but I don't know why. I also feel like you're so special to me and that I want nothing more than to be with you again. And I just get a crazy feeling in my head and then, and then I just want to avoid you so I don't have to deal with it. Which is making you sad and confused because I didn't tell you any of this. So is this something we can work on together? I would like that, mi amore. I don't know how to say it. I'm probably saying it wrong so badly. That's more like it. Okay. We kind of take things fast. Yeah, like, date number one. That probably didn't help. But, Carla, you're very beautiful. And I guess I let that get to my head a bit. I don't mind that you think I'm beautiful. But, <laughs> blushies, blushies. Blushies, little are. Okay, but I think maybe we should get just date for a while and let our hearts grow together more before we get physically intimate again because I was way too rushed, like, second date. I'm willing to give it a try. I go really slow in my relationship, so it's like, that was, like, speedy. So, how does movies tomorrow night sound? I'll be there. A few weeks later. It was hard again to, tonight to drop Carla off with just the kids outside her apartment because I'm a horny bastard who needs some sex. But sometimes when we're kissing and I see that frightened look pop up across her eyes afterwards, though it seemed to happen less often and go away faster after the last few weeks. Carla's worth it, though. Some days later, another school day and another chance to see Carla. Oh, Mel, thank goodness you're here. Carla was wrong. Can't we go outside and talk, please? Sure, sure, yo. <laughs> I walked with Carla to a secluded area that you know of the campus, and we sat down. Okay, I just found out that this morning that one of the girls who really helped me out when I lived on this campus died. I pull Carla into a hug because I'm a good boyfriend. Carla, I'm, I'm so sorry. We sat there, me rocking her slowly in my arms as she cried for a few minutes. I think I got your shirt wet. It'll dry. Especially in this heat. God! Feel better? Yes, Tamori. Always better with you. Let's walk back to the cafeteria then. Okay. Hand in hand, we walk back. Time passes and winter becomes spring. It's a warm night and I'm enjoying the perfume of the women walking down by in their light dresses. Creeper. Just kidding. There's just one scent in particular I'm waiting for, though. Hey, Mel. I wave back. She quickly would... <clears throat> she walks quickly toward me. You know, I kind of like that it's just going to end with her, you know, them having sex and... No. The end. I like that this is building up on something. Would you mind if we don't see a movie tonight? Also, Mel really doesn't want to deal with saying that word wrong over and over again, so she's avoiding it. Oh, okay. What did you want to do? You've been very patient, and I'm like trying to go back to my place again. Carla, are you sure that? I'm very sure. Trust me, you can come over, and it'll still be nice to see you tomorrow. I take her hand and we walk back to her place. On my way, I call my folks to tell them I'm studying late. So they shouldn't wait up for me. How's that? Delicious as always, but how are you feeling? Good boyfriend. Good job. Good job. Make sure the lady's okay. Sorry. Warm. Loved. Free. I do love you, you know. Yes, but it's always better to hear it. And yes, I love you too. I placed my hand on a small, on a small of her neck. Or of her back. And there's a name for it. And pull her close again for a kiss. It sounds like fan fiction. She responds enthusiastically, and I realize it's going to be a long, lovely night. Later that spring. So, what did you think of the. Oh, wait, me. It's me. Not, not, not her. Sorry. <laughs> so, what did you think of the graduation ceremony? Then I was proud to see you up there. We twined our fingers together and started to walk into where my parents were waiting. It had taken a while to explain Carla's situation to my folks, but they came around eventually. Of course it helped it of course it helped that they knew that she had an apartment we could have moved into and that I was willing to compromise on my master's program. So Carla and I would be getting married in a few weeks. Whoa damn, that's really bad. Well, I mean, I guess it's been like a year or something. And then after the short honeymoon she would go back to working at the cafeteria part-time, as well as starting a program in nursing. That would get both her and I 
an employee discount on school. Julie had let me know that she was moving east to continue her degree and that I'll be starting work at a bookstore part-time while I was working on my master's in computer science. I didn't think about English Lit, but Dad convinced me that there's more secure future in computers. That's my dad. Get into programming! Get into programming! Okay, do, do. Eventually. Never. I, I don't mind it, but calm down. We were living at my home, which meant that we weren't working or studying. There would still be plenty of time for me and Carla to enjoy our new life together. I love you, Mari. I love you too, dearest. Which was enough for me. You know, it might be worth trying this again. Oh. That was actually pretty cute. I actually kind of, I quite like that. I also like that they only told me about one other girl and what she was doing and I don't, I don't remember who she was. Was it really five girls? Because I only saw like one. No, kit four. Anyways, that was um, college romance, which I actually like more than I thought I would, which is embarrassing, but whatever. Y'all have a good day. Um, sorry, I meant to say that after I said other things. Like this video if you, um, you know, liked it. <laughs> Give it, you know, put comments and questions in the section below. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you like this video or my other ones, or just me in general. I'm so sorry if I said that French word very wrong. I don't, I don't do French. I do freaking Spanish. Okay. Anyways, have a good day, guys. Love ya.